I think why I succeeded or why I'm where I am today is because of the passion that I bring to the table. I believe in creating a, a world better than I found it. I think that's what has given me the drive to make it in Navy EOD. I wanted to be a stunt woman. I wanted to have a life of adventure. I needed to be outside to experience the world instead of withering under some fluorescent lights. I wanted to shoot things, blow stuff up, jump out of airplanes, scuba dive. I wanted the romance of seeing what others haven't seen or, or pushing myself to go places that I've never been before. I was already out in the world trying to make it. I was just going through emails. I saw an email from the Army Reserve. I thought to myself, I definitely want to be in the water, I knew that. The Navy seemed like the way to go. So that drove me to the, the Navy recruiting office. They said the coolest things I could do was to be a search and rescue swimmer, Navy diver, or an EOD tech. Never heard what an EOD tech was. Turns out it was everything I wanted to do with stunt work. I felt like the universe was saying, like, this is where you need to go. This is what you need to do. Navy EOD techs are a very rare breed. Good morning, guys. Thank you for coming here and letting me give you a little lecture on XMCM and our piece of the pie. We're very specialized over a ton of different mission areas. We're willingly putting ourselves in harm's way to disarm explosive hazards and clear the way for follow-on forces to complete their missions. Yeah. You're expected to maintain a high standard of training, and not only the mission area, but you need to be able to get to the problem. You could be diving down to 300 feet, jumping out of an airplane at 12,000 feet, or sliding down the fast rope over the deck of an aircraft carrier. You're going to be pushing yourself every day to hone your skills. We also take care of improvised explosive devices, or IEDs, which really forces you to be as creative as the person that created that device. And all you can see here is spalling. The magnesium really didn't have much effect. Our job isn't to go out and hunt down people or be a part of the problem. EOD is part of the solution. We're the nation's defense. I've been in the Navy for over 11 years now, and I worked very hard through my enlisted career to try and make it easier for those that came behind me. The day I was commissioned as a Naval officer was a dream come true. But there comes a point where you need to be able to step back and take care of things outside of the mission. 
Maybe. My husband and I have spent a lot of time apart because we're both in the Navy and we always put our service first. Our marriage, our family has come second for a really long time. Exciting that happens here. It's better when it's He is also an EOD tech and is amazing because I get to come home and speak the same language. The dream is to settle somewhere, grow a family, grow a farm, and help out in a much different way. Helping other people who need my help, not just the ones who are in harm's way. At the same time, the sacrifices that my husband and I have made have given us the life that we have right now. I feel an amazing sense of pride in our ability to make such a difference in this world. And it's our job to make sure that everyone is safe. And that is a burden. but I, I can't imagine having it any other way. I'm Bree Koger, and I'm an Explosive Ordnance Disposal Officer in the United States Navy.